In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Out of nothing, He created them. Out of His own image, He made male and female, made the stir with the earth and all the things in it. Then, the first human rebelled against the Creator. Sin spills over every fiber of the human soul, like a spiritual leprosy, deadening our soul inside. Pride, rebellion, hatred, all plague the likeness of us to our Maker. Then, the message was lost. Along the way, we forgot our purpose in this world. The nights were filled with dissatisfaction and disappointments. I stared into the darkness only to wrestle within. I looked deep inside, seeing insecurities, hurts, betrayals, and pains walled up. Mass pain. I looked up, hoping that there is someone who sees me in this mess, for I am drowning in my pain, feeling suffocated and waiting for someone to lift me up. Then a hand reached out to me through the darkness. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. His face is radiant. His arms are loving. He said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. An invitation to good to be true. An invitation that costs blood, tears, and sweat to be poured on the tree of life, the cross of Calvary. Without even my utterance of apologies, I was welcomed by a love personified in Jesus Christ who chased me, who led me home. It's a funny thing, the moment I chose to give my life was the moment I gained it all the more. The moment I chose to gaze upon the cross, I gained the freedom of self-forgetfulness which freed me from the bondage of sins and shame. This love that I've received is better than life. A new heart, a renewed hope, a reignited passion I have received. To let this light shine before others, telling them the good news that they may too glorify the Father in heaven. Amen.